and we are live coming to you from Acumen Stadium on the campus of St. Clair College in Windsor, Ontario, as we continue day two coverage of the 2022 Canadian Collegiate Softball Association National Championship Tournament. My name is Dan Dominguez, and I, along with the We Digital, Digital Crew, will be bringing you all the action here at the 2022 CCSA National Championships. Final game here at Acumen Stadium. We wrapped up pool play earlier today. The Ottawa GGs are facing off against the U of T Varsity Blues. Both teams were winless in pool play, and they'll play a consolation game here at Acumen Stadium to finish up their tournament. Both teams look to finish strong with a win on their way home on this Thanksgiving weekend. Teams are finishing their final preps, and we're going to be ready to go here on a cold, blustery day here at the stadium. Just a reminder, you can see all the action. Just go to the We Digital page, wedigital.ca, or the We Digital Facebook page to get all the links. You can also visit the We Digital YouTube page. We have quarterfinal action behind us at the St. Clair Sports Park. Currently, UBC Okanagan is tied with the Humber Hawks, three to three. Calgary is going to be facing off against the Durham Lords following that game in the second quarterfinal. And the semifinals are going to be at 6 and 8 o'clock tonight here at St. Clair Sports Park. The bronze medal is going to be tomorrow morning and the gold medal around lunchtime tomorrow afternoon. We're almost ready for action here. Sophie Daisy, the pitcher. Both teams have a long bus ride ahead of them after this ball game, so they look to make it a more fun ride going home, getting a victory under their belts. Daisy taking out her warm up tosses. We're almost ready for action. Defensively, the GGs have Amy Schmidt as the battery mate to Daisy. Addie Kane at first, Emma Lafontaine, second base, Maddie Halstead at short, Amber Weiss at third, Janik Ebert in left field, Caitlin Fleer in center, and Ali Newland in right field. Shiloh Chislett, the right field for the U of T Varsity Blues. The wind blowing strong to right field. The sun trying to break through some of the cloud cover here at the stadium. The right-hander into the box, and we're almost ready for action. Day Z, wheels and fires, foul ball, strike one. The 0-1 pitch. Popped up to the third baseman, Amber Weiss with the easy catch. That's out number one. GG's have the first out of the game. Jolie Ma, the lefty, steps into the box now. Fastball fouled back to the screen. Schmidt gives it a look, but it's over the fence for strike number one. Daisy on the hill for the GGs, her first action on the mound. Sun breaks through the clouds, warming up a few degrees. Ball down, left-handed catcher receives that. It's one and one. Daisy leans back, rocks and fires, back to the screen. Two and one. Ma's going to be the pitcher today when she takes the field for defense. 5'8 pitcher out of Cloverdale, British Columbia. Her first year at the U of T. 3-1 pitch. 
in there for strike two. She took a couple steps to first base. Home plate ump calls her back. We'll do a full count pitch. Lefty bat on her shoulder. Ready for Daisy to get ready. She wheels and fires down low. This time she gets to run the first for the walk. Kurzrock now the batter, her second year, American, Bohemia, New York. Fouled straight back at our camera over the concourse towards St. Clair Sports Park. Kurzrock, normally a catcher, is going to be playing third base today. Maz on first. Takes a couple steps, throw back. Tag, not in time. Schmidt cut, tried to catch Ma off the bag a little bit. Throws it down to Abby Keen, Addy Keen, and back safely. 1 1 now. Top of the first inning. Fly ball, center field. Caitlin Fleur, Fleur is there, makes the easy catch for out number two. So the first baseman, Holworth, is the batter now. She's in her second year. Big right-hander, 5'10", out of Toronto. Hit hard in the left field, down for a base hit. Runner gets to second and holds tight. Runner's on first and second now, two outs. Holworth hit that one hard in the left. A bad, able to get it in quickly. Katie Mona now, her fourth year. Another tall righty, 5'11", out of Markham. Mona, the batter, with two runners aboard. Two outs here in the top of the first inning. University of Toronto Varsity Blues take on the GGs. He seems they're very familiar with them each other, playing in the OUA. Two oh count now. Two on, two outs. Hit hard to third. She knocks it down, runs to the bag for the third out of the inning. GG's are out of it. We're gonna head to the bottom of the first. Still tied at zero here on We Digital. No. No. I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit. But it was more your your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally, but it won't help you grow as a person talking cannabis with your teen can be learned download our free brochure you know what poison ivy grows naturally but it's not good for you is it find the answers you need at drugfreekidscanada.org where are you headed uh i'm just gonna hang out if any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm just going to hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. And we're back here at Acumen Stadium. Got a score update over at St. Clair Sports Park. The UBC Heat take a 5-3 lead in the bottom of the fifth inning in quarterfinal action against the Humber Hawks. Jolie Ma is the pitcher. Discussing with the umpire the mound situation here. This is UAT's first game over on the Acumen Stadium field. They've been playing over at the sports park. So they might have a slight adjustment getting used to the playing on the football field. Ma is finishing up her warm-up tosses. That's leadoff hitter Caitlin Fleer getting ready. And 
Addy Kane also taking some practice cuts for the GGs. So we're going to have action the rest of the day here, Saturday. After t this game here, all the games will be over on the St. Clair Sports Park. There's going to be another quarterfinal matchup around 4 o'clock, followed by the semifinals at 6 and 8 o'clock. Don't forget to come cheer on your St. Clair Saints in the 8 o'clock semifinal matchup. Their opponent yet to be determined. The team having their huddle before the bottom of the first begins. And we're almost ready for action. Caitlin Flea are going to lead things off for the GGs. Durham off into the end zone, taking some batting practice, getting ready for their quarterfinal matchup. Fleer steps into the box. First pitch, squares for the bunt, just fair, fires the first, in time to record the out. Nice play by Katie Monet. Addie Kane now, tall right-hander. It's around 4 o'clock over at St. Clair Sports Park. You'll see the Durham Lords taking on the Calgary Dinos in quarterfinal action. First pitch, low for a ball. Pitcher wheels and fires. Hit hard down the left field line. Just foul. That would have been extra basic if you could have kept that from hooking foul. Count moves the one and one. One down. Nobody on base. No score early in the bottom of the first inning. Jolie Ma on the mound. Katie... Mona, her battery mate. Lauren Howarth around the infield at first. Emily Fujiwara at second. Madison Espinola at shortstop. Julia Kuzrock at third. As Ma wheels for the 2-1 pitch. High pop-up over the shortstop's head. That could be trouble. It's in there for a base hit. She's heading to two. The tag is down. Out at second base. Not a wise running decision there by Addie Kane, trying to stretch that into a double. UAT able to gun her at second base to record out number two. Julia Green, the left fielder, had that bounce in front of her, alertly fires it hard to second base to get the out. Caitlin Graham's the center fielder, Shiloh Chislett the right to round out the UAT de defense. So two down now here in the bottom of the first inning. 1-0 count. Maddie Holstead, the shortstop. Julie Ma rocks back and fires. Little roller to third base and Kuzrock fires across the diamond in time to record the third out. We're through one complete. No score. We'll be back on We Digital.
breath, for every little breath, and for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. And we're back here at Acumen Stadium, home of the Saints. No score as we enter the top of the second inning. There's the Durham Lords taking some batting practice. They're getting ready for their quarterfinal matchup at 4 o'clock. They'll be taking on the Calgary Dinos. The Dinos are warming up in the opposite end zone right now. Trying to get loose on this cold Saturday afternoon. Fujiwara now comes to the plate. Fujiwara, another American player. Elmhurst, Illinois, her first year at UAT. Fouls it back towards us in the grandstands, down the tunnel. Oh, one now. Jolie Ma. Correction, Sophie Daisy on the hill. Sophie Daisy rocks and fires, fouls back into the grandstand again. Two and two. That ball's over the catcher's head. The left-handed catcher retrieves it and flips it back to her pitcher. Amy Schmidt's been catching all weekend long for the Ottawa GGs. Sophie Daisy. Just misses low, runs the count to full. Payoff pitch from Daisy. Just misses. And the UAT Varsity Blues have a leadoff walk. Angelina Perry, the hitter now. Five foot eight outfielder, first year from Maple, Ontario. Pitch down low, pickoff attempt at first. Kane applies a tag just too late. One oh now to Perry. Daisy leans back. Whirls and fires in there for strike one. Third base coach Craig Sarson in the coach's box for UAT. Hit hard up the middle. LaFontaine flips it to Halstead, fires the first, not in time. Nice play by Emma LaFontaine to get the ground out and flip it to her shortstop to get the out at second. So Julia Green, left fielder, steps into the box. Out of Fredericton, New Brunswick. Her second year at the University of Toronto. The righty checks her signs back in the box. Ready for her 1-0 pitch. Chopper to third base. Weiss fires high to first base in time to record the second out. Perry slid in the second, advancing on the chopper. Weiss did the smart move there, throwing the first. Didn't have a shot at second base on that play. Caitlin Graham now up the bat with two outs. Scarborough, Ontario, her fifth year at U of T. Five foot five outfielder. Takes strike one. A 
A little pop over the first baseman. Second baseman, LaFontaine can't make the play. It falls in. UT is going to score the first run of the ball game. Tough play. Little end of the bat flare over Kane's head. LaFontaine gave it a shot but couldn't get there in time. And the Varsity Blues take a one nothing lead here in the second. So top of the order now, Chris Chislett's up, the right fielder. She popped the third her first time. Chislett, her second year out of Kippen, Newfoundland. High, deep fly ball. A bear camps under it, battles the wind, and makes the catch for the third out. So UAT puts one across. They lead one nothing. We'll be back here on We Digital. What can milk do? Well, it can turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh, well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whir and creme brulee cremy. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, Em. Remind me about that party again. And Alex adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. The Gigi's getting ready to take their wraps here in the bottom of the second inning. Hartley and Weiss taking some practice cuts. There's 33. Big hard hitting Jordy Hartley. She's pitched a bunch for the Gigi's over this weekend. Been their ace for the weekend. There's the infield having their pre inning meeting. Wind really starting to blow here at Acumen. We finally have a little bit of sunshine. Bottom of the second. Gigi's trail by one. Ma in there for strike one. Jolie Ma on the mound. Leans back and fires high. One and one. Scoreboard's incorrect. It's one and one now, umpire indicates. She rocks and fires high. Two balls, one strike. Hartley hits one hard, foul, evens the count up at two and two. Kuzrock chases that ball in foul grounds. Jolie Ma checks the sign from her catcher. Ready for the two-two pitch. High foul ball in towards the end zone. The makeshift batting cage that the Durham Lords are using. So we'll do the 2-2 two -two pitch again. Big right-handed steps into the box. Ready for the 2-2 two -two pitch. Hit hard off the end of the bat. Espinola fires in time for out number one. Kind of hit that off the end of the bat. Madison Espinola fires it quickly over to Howarth for out number one. Weiss now, five foot five lefty, Napanee, Ontario.
Swings in a high fastball. Fouls it back into the stands. Mound adjustment there by Jolie Ma. U of T trying to get accustomed to this makeshift baseball diamond here at Acumen Stadium. The 0 1 pitch. Just missed. Ball one. One and one now, one out. Bottom of the second, UT leads by a run. Little chopper back to the mound. Ma fields it, fires over the whole worth. Record out number two. Daisy now comes to the bat. She's pitching for the GGs today, trying to help out her own cause. In there for strike one. Ma pitching well so far for the UAT. Whirls and fires. Blows a fastball by her for strike two. The Z way late on that fastball. The 0-2 pitch. Another fastball just missed. Daisy turned away from that one. Almost caught the inside part of the plate. 1-2 now. Jolie Ma. High fly ball. Foul grounds. Shiloh Chislett gives a chase. Runs out of room. One and two now. Z in the box. Ma fires in. Blows the fastball right by her for the third out. We're through two. UAT still leads it 1 nothing here on We Digital. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for youth. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs. And dangerous things like metals into your body. And nicotine, which can harm a person's brain development through their mid-twenties. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping. Because when you talk, they hear you. Email from school about the incident today. Scary. You know, teachers like me, parents, we don't always know as much as you guys do about what's going on with other kids. Half the time, it's rumors. Yeah, but if you're ever concerned about a friend who's having trouble with alcohol, prescription drugs, anything, you need to tell an adult, someone you know and trust. That can be hard, but speaking up about a problem is what helping a friend is all about. And we're back here at Acumen Stadium. Got a score update. UBC leads six to three, top of the seventh inning. The Humber Hawks do have a couple of runners on base with nobody out in that quarterfinal action. Ma into the box now, the left-hander. Takes strike one. So Humber will have to have a big seventh inning comeback to stay in that game against UBC. Foul ball towards the end zone. Two strikes. Sophie Daisy still on the hill for the Ottawa GGs. She leans back, rocks and fires just outside. Ball one. One 
One and two now. Strike three looking. She didn't like that call. Um, home plate ump. Rings her up for out number one. Julia Kuzrock to hit her now. She flew at the center field her first time up. Daisy rocks and fires. Check swing. Ball one. One and over the count. Swing and a miss. Way out in front of that one. Daisy took a little off that one. Kuzrock having trouble timing it up. Working quickly here in the third. High fly ball. Caitlin Fleers under it. Little trouble with the wind, but makes the catch. Two outs now here in the top of the third inning. Lauren Holworth steps to the box. She reached safely her first time up. UT leads 1-0 here in the top of the third inning. Ball low. Daisy's given up two hits. Two and zero oh now to count. Big right hander in the box. Howarth ready. Two zero oh count. Fisted foul. Oh, what a catch on first base by Addie Kane. Diving catch and foul grounds for the third out. Spectacular play for the GGs. We're going to head to the bottom of the third. UAT still leads it 1 nothing here on We Digital. No. No. I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit. But it was more your, your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally, but it won't help you grow as a person. Talking cannabis with your teen can be learned. Download our free brochure. You know what? Poison ivy grows naturally, but it's not good for you, is it? Find the answers you need at drugfreekidscanada.org. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm just going to hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. We're back here at Acumen Stadium. Another score update from behind us in the quarterfinals. Humber has the bases loaded with only one out, down three runs. Trying to come back. Big corner final action. Humber trying to come back in their final at bat. 6-5 now the update. Still only one out. And I believe Humber has a couple of runners on base. Amy Schmidt now the batter for the GGs. Hit hard in the center field. It's a base hit, trying to split the outfielders. She's going to hold to a long single. Nice play by the outfielders to keep that ball from splitting the gap. We'll try and keep you updated on both games here. You can catch all the action on WeDigital.ca. Check the Wii Digital Facebook page or the Wii Digital YouTube page to stream all the games here at St. Clair College.
ball low. Ali Newland, the right fielder. Newland out of Waterloo, five foot five outfielder, slash pitcher. One and one now. Schmidt on first base after that hard hit single in the right center. Jolie Ma rocks and fires, squares a bunt, high bunt. It's gonna be fair, takes a bad spin off of the first baseman, and it's gonna be an infield single. That's the Gigi's second hit now of the inning. So LaFontaine comes to bat. She's playing second base. The lefty steps into the box. Five foot eight and a half from Castleman, Ontario. She gets the extra half inch on her height. Squares the bunt, but takes strike one. The 0 one pitch, strike two. So we're still battling here for the 2022 CCSA National Championships. Humber trying to come back behind us at the St. Clair Sports Park versus UBC. If they can come back, the winner of that game is going to be facing Western, the Western Mustangs, in the first semifinal at 6 o'clock tonight. I'd like to see you at the ballpark, but if you want to stay a little warmer, watch all the action on We Digital. 0-2 now, nobody out. U of T leads 1-0. Swing and a miss, strike three. One out now, first and second. One and zero now. Schmidt over on second base, getting ready to run on the pitch. Fourth, the hitter now. Five foot five out of Ottawa. Hard hit the fly to right field. Shiloh Chislett's there. Makes the catch, no tag on the play, strong throw to third. Nice block there by Julia Kuzrock. Two outs now. Pinch runner heading out for Amy Schmidt at second. That looks like fourth running for the catcher. Courtesy runner with two outs, so the catcher can get ready for the next half. In there low, Addie Kane now. Julie Ma still on the hill. Mona, her catcher, hit hard in the right center field. That's gonna be trouble. That splits the outfielders. One run across for Ottawa, all the way to the fence. Kane heading for third base, two runs are in. The GGs have taken a lead here at Acumen Stadium. A two out, two RBI triple for Addison Kane. Looking for Hallstad coming to bat. Think she forgot she was on deck, so she's a little late arriving. Halstead grounded the third her first time. She's got a runner on third base. Jolie Ma now. Ha, little blooper over the head. Center fielder can't make the play. Graham gave it a try. 
But the third run has scored for the Ottawa GGs. RBI single, Maddie Halstead. Gets to the plate late and still drives in the run. So a big two-out rally here. Ottawa has pushed three runs across here in the bottom of the third inning. Halstead on first. Owen one now. Big right-hander for Ottawa GGs. Jordy Hartley from Newmarket hits a hard shot foul. O2 oh, now to Hartley. The GGs now lead 3 1. Hartley asks for time and receives it. The 0-2 pitch. Fouled into the dugout. The GG scramble. The count remains 0-2. Oh, and 2 now, Jolie Ma. Gets a piece of it to stay alive. Thank you. Oh, and 2, 2 outs. Hartley now. She grounded the short her first time up. Third baseman playing close to the line. Shortstop. Espinola shifted over as well. Again, just barely fouls that ball to stay alive. Way out in front of Jolie Ma's pitches here. The game's over behind us. We'll get a score for you shortly. Hard ground ball, shortstop. Fires over the first in time for out number three. Ottawa puts three on the board after three complete. 3-1 three GG's. We'll be back here on We Digital. For every big breath, for every little breath, and for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. What can milk do? Well, it can turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh, well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whir and creme brulee cremy. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, Em. Remind me about that party again. And adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for youth. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs and dangerous things like metals into your body. And nicotine, which can harm a person's brain development through their mid-twenties. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping. Because when you talk, they hear you. When it comes to vaping, and we're back here, top of the fourth inning, Acumen Stadium. 
first quarterfinal matchup is over on St. St. Clair Sports Park behind us. UBC, Okanagan, the Heat, hang on. A big double play with runners on base to beat the Humber Hawks 6-5. to five. They now advance to play at 6 o'clock tonight against the undefeated Western Mustangs. That'll be semifinal number one. St. Clair is waiting for their opponent in set number two. A ah, deep fly ball. Left center field is back to the wall. Off the wall. Monat's headed to third. There's going to be a play. Slides in safely at third. A leadoff triple. UAT is in business here in the fourth. She crushed that first pitch well over in left center field gap. Reaches third base easily. Fujiwara now the batter. Ground ball to short. She hesitates. Play at the plate. She is out. She hesitated at third base just for a split second, and that was the difference. Halstead saw that, gunned a beautiful throw to her catcher, Amy Schmidt. Schmidt applies the tag for out number one. UAT takes himself out of a bit of a rally. Fujiwara reaches on the fielder's choice. So one on one out here. UAT trails at 3-1, top of four. In this wrap-up game here at Acumen Stadium, pool play finished earlier today. Both these teams getting a consolation game. They're familiar with each other, playing an OUA regular season play. Angelina Perry, she reached on a fielder's choice and scored the only run for the UAT. Fouled into the catcher's mitt. One and two the count. Fujiwara on first base. Daisy blows it by our first strike, number three. Two outs in the inning now. Daisy bouncing on the mound to try and stay warm here on this windy day. Fouled back into the grandstand. First strike, number one. Pickoff attempt at first. Kane applies a tag not in time. One and one to count. Julia Green the hitter. She grounded to third base her first time up. In there for strike two. Sophie Daisy rocks and fires. High fastball just misses. Two and two. Daisy, five foot seven out of Montreal, Quebec. Foul ball catcher can't get past the umpire there. Two two. Umpire had nowhere to go on there. Schmidt tried to get past him for the catch. Unable to do so. Count remains two and two. Two outs, runner on first. Ottawa GG's lead 3-1. Their big three-run third inning gave them the lead. Little dribbler just off the pitcher's glove. They're going to have no place to go. Infield single for Julia Green. Fujihara moves to second base. That brings Graham to the plate, center fielder. She's one for one with a single. Five foot five, fifth year out of Scarborough, Ontario. The old one pitch. Just misses low, one and one. Big secondary lead off second base for Fujiwara. Two outs should be running on contact, trying to score on anything hit to the outfield. Infield, outfield playing shallow. They would have a shot at it. A little slow roller to third. They're going to have to come to first. 
in time to record the third out. And we're through the top of the fourth. Ottawa still leads it 3-1 here on We Digital. Email from school about the incident today. Scary. You know, teachers like me, parents, we don't always know as much as you guys do about what's going on with other kids. Half the time, it's rumors. Yeah, but if you're ever concerned about a friend who's having trouble with alcohol, prescription drugs, anything, you need to tell an adult, someone you know and trust. That can be hard, but speaking up about a problem is what helping a friend is all about. No. No! I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit, but it was more your, your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally, but it won't help you grow as a person. Talking cannabis with your team can be learned. Download our free brochure. You know what? Poison ivy grows naturally, but it's not good for you, is it? Find the answers you need at drugfreekidscanada.org. Where are you headed? Uh, just gonna hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. And we're back here, bottom of the fourth inning. Looks like the GGs might... Well, Amber Weiss is the leadoff hitter. They lead the University of Toronto Varsity Blues 3-1, to one, bottom of the fourth inning. Trying to finish their tournament off with a bang here. Trying to go home with a victory. Wind picking up again. Kind of a swirling wind. Looks like it's coming in from right field. Looking at the goalposts of the Acumen Stadium football field. And Jolie Mob still on the hill. We actually do have a pitching change. Aaron Sullivan now. First hit in the right field. That's a hard hit single for Amber Weiss. So Sullivan's first batter, she lets on with a single. Ma's day is done. Gives up three runs. Over three innings. Sophie Daisy. The pitcher trying to help her own cause. Struck out her first time up. Seeing if she can move Weiss along the base path. Aaron Sullivan rocks and fires. Fastball, strike one. We sat first base. Squares the bunt. Bunts past the catcher foul. Two strikes now. Gets her sign from third base coach. That's Steph. Boucher in her seventh year running the GGs. The 0 2 pitch to Daisy. Pass the catcher, wild pitch. Weiss scampers on the second base. Man, runner on second, nobody out. Bottom of the fourth inning. So Sullivan in a, getting herself a bit of a jam. The leadoff single, the wild pitch. A little chopper foul to the third baseman, Kuzrock. She flips the ball back to her new pitcher. We sit the top of the screen, getting ready to take her jump after the pitch is released. 2-2 two -two pitch. Foul back to the screen. She stays alive. Two and two. She was late on that swing. Able to get a piece of it to get another shot here. Two 
Aaron Sullivan now gets a sign she likes. Wheels and fires. Foul ball. Almost to me. Got to remember to bring my glove next time. I would have went for it. Just missed. Oh, umpire rings are up on that one. Not much of a strike three call there. So Amy Schmidt, she had a single and a run her first time. One on, one out. Bottom of fourth inning. GG's lead at three to one against the University of Toronto Varsity Blues. Grounder back to the mound. Fires the first, gets the second out. Amber Weiss able to reach third on the throw to first. So the GGs have a runner on third with two outs now. Allie Newland, she singled in, scored. Fastball blows it by her for strike one. Owen one now, two outs, runner on third. Gigi's lead 3 1. Fastball just missed outside, one and one. Sullivan bringing some heat here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Not much heat elsewhere on Acumen Stadium. A little line drive flare foul. Lauren Howarth tracks it down. Sullivan adjusts the pitching mound. Gets ready for this 2 0 pitch. Shakes off her catcher. Gets one she likes. Fastball back to the mound. Flips over the first, high over the first base. The run's going to score. Runner heads to second base. And a run comes in for the GGs. Aaron Sullivan fielded that easily, but rushed to throw the first base and fired it high over the head of Lauren Howarth for the error. Costly mistake there for Sullivan. She would have had herself out of the inning. That brings LaFontaine. She squares the bunt. The speedy runner fires. Not in time. Beautiful bunt. She dropped that and it deadened it right in front of home plate. She was able to reach first. They have runners at the corners now with two outs. So Kylie fourth now, runners on the corner. We'll keep an eye on Emma LaFontaine at first to see if she's running here. Strike one, catcher gets the ball back quickly. Katie Mona. Back to Sullivan. 4 1 lead now for the GGs. Foul ball. Just over my head. Getting some action up here in the foul balls now. Two strikes. Two strikes, two outs here. Fourth. Just gets a piece of it to stay alive. Two strikes. We'll see if they want to start the runner here, LaFontaine. Fastball, strike three, blows past her, and UAT gets out of it. So 4-1 GG's, and we'll be back here on We Digital. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm just going to hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just 
Tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. There's a mercy. And we're back here at Acumen Stadium. GG's on defense. They lead the U of T Varsity Blues 4 to 1. Fouled back into the grandstand. Nice play by the security guard on the ricochet. Paladin security making the play. The 0 1 pitch. Fouled towards uh, Gigi's dugout. Shiloh Chislett, the batter. She's in right field today. 0 for 2. Pop up the third. Fly out the left. Pole hitter. Third baseman playing over. Left fielder playing over about the 45-yard line. Hits it towards the left fielder. Janik Hebert underneath it and makes the catch. So one away now, the pitcher, Jolie Ma, to the plate. 0 for 1 in a walk. Struck out looking her last time. High fastball, ball one. So Daisy still on the hill. Hard shot in the left center field. Tough play. The ball's down for a single. In the left center field. Fleer and Abad could not get there. A one-out single for the pitcher, Jolie Ma. Kuzrak now the batter. She's flown out twice to center field. Out both times. One on, one out, top of the fifth inning. Ottawa GGs lead at 4-1 in this consolation game here at Acumen Stadium. A little check swing, look out in the crowd. The fan goes down, trying to catch that one. Falls on his wife. And everybody looks to be okay. The player's giving the fan a little bit of a hard time for that falling attempt. Hit hard over the left fielder's head. Off her glove. It's going to be down. A bear had a glove on it. The runners are tied up. They don't know where they're going. They might have crossed. They get the force out. Umpires call time. They're definitely going to have one out. So the runners get crossed up. We're going to talk about here. They might both be out. And that's going to be a double play. Umpires with the correct call. Jolie Ma got passed by Julia Kuzrock. That makes her out. And then Ma still tried to scamper to first to second base. They apply the tag for out number three. So correctly, they get the ball in, and the umpires correctly re record both outs. So we're out of the inning now. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth inning. 4-1 Ottawa GGs here on We Digital. For every big breath, for every little breath, and for every breath in between, 
Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. What can milk do? Well, it can turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh, well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whir and creme brulee cremy. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. And have fun. Hey, Em. Remind me about that party again. And adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive... Here, first pitch. In there for a strike. So it was a smart play there by Janique Hebert in that last inning. She was unable to make the play, but as soon as the batter crossed that runner, batter was automatically cal called out. And the base runner tried to scamper to second, also tagged out for the double play, the unorthodox double play. Pitcher this time fires it. Sullivan hits her first baseman for out number one. Maddie Halstead now. She's one for two in a single. Ground out to third. GG's still lead 4-1. Bottom of the fifth inning. U of T's out hitting them 5-4 right now. Strike one in there. Aaron Sullivan on the hill, getting ready for the next pitch. The 0 1. Fouled away. It's two strikes. Gigi still showing a lot of energy on their third base dugout. Oh, two, Sullivan rocks and fires. Check swing, pop fly, second base. Emily Fujiwara underneath makes the easy catch for out number two. Big, the big right-hander, Jordy Hartley. Two ground outs to shortstop for her today. The sunshine, the warm, the field a little bit. A little bit warmer on the AstroTurf than it is up here on the concourse. Another chopper past the shortstop. She knocks it down, but unable to make a play. That's an infield single for Hartley. Amber Weiss now with two outs, one on. The left-hander digs into the box. One for two, run scored. Chop to the shortstop. Espinola fires across in time for the third out. UT gets out of it. So we'll be back after five innings. 4 1 GG's here on We Digital. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear vaping is not safe for youth. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs and dangerous things like metals into your body. And nicotine, which can harm a person's brain development through their mid-20s. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping. Because when you talk, they hear you. Email from school about the incident today. Scary. You know, teachers like me, parents, we don't always know as much as you guys do about what's going on with other kids. Half the time, it's rumors. Yeah, but if you're ever concerned about a friend who's having trouble with alcohol, prescription drugs, anything, you need to tell an adult, someone you know and trust. That can be hard, but speaking up about a problem is what helping a friend is all about. No. No. 
I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit. But it was more your, your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally, but it won't help you grow as a person. Talking cannabis with your teen can be learned. Download our free brochure. You know what? Poison ivy grows naturally, but it's not good for you, is it? Find the answers you need at drugfreekidscanada.org. The second quarter final, the Durham Lords took an early 1-0 lead over the Calgary Dinos. The winner of that matchup is going to face the strong St. Clair Saints at 8 o'clock in the semifinals. It looks like a new pitcher for the GGs. That's Rachel Matheson Green on the hill. Daisy's day is done. Daisy had a strong effort on the hill, just giving up the one run in the second inning. Two strikeouts for Daisy on her day. So it should be Howarth coming to the bat, the right-hander in the box. Matheson Green threw yesterday for the GGs. A little changeup on the first pitch. In there for strike one. GG still leading 4-1. Hit hard to the shortstop. Halstead fires over the first, past the first baseman, Kane. Halstead rushed that throw a little bit. She had a little bit more time than she thought, and it skipped past Addie Kane for the error. Halstead's been strong defensively for the, the GGs this tournament. Making a slight mistake there. She'll look to rebound. Mona now the batter. She had a big triple back in the fourth inning. She got stranded there, though. Well, she was actually gunned out on a force out. From Fujiwara at home. 2 0. So she's one for two with that triple. Grounded out the third or other time up. Horowitz off the bag. Fouled down the left field side. Strike one. Two and one. Matheson Green on the hill for the Ottawa Gigi's. Trying to preserve their four to one lead. Here in the top of the sixth inning, Acumen Stadium. Change up, pops straight up in the air. Third baseman Weiss in, catcher underneath it. Can't make the play, foul ball. That's a tough catch for Amy Schmidt to try and make. She has to try and turn her back to the infield to make that catch easier. Foul back onto the concourse at St. Clair. That's Janelle Hodge now for U of T. Pinch hitter that we missed. Hit hard roll of the shortstop. Halstead over the second. Gets the force out. Not in time at first base. First out's recorded. So that's Hodge now on first base, five foot seven out of Vancouver, British Columbia, her second year, University of Toronto. Wild pitch just past the catcher. Hodge heads down the second in time. U of T starting to get a little bit more bench players into the game. This final game of their 2022 CCSA National Championship Tournament. Ball misses. Two and one. Two and zero. Oh. 
Fujiwara, the hitter. Hit hard over the left fielder's head. She's not going to get that to the wall. An RBI double for Emily Fujiwara. She crushed that ball over Janique Abana's head. She had no chance. Four two now. The GG still lead. One out here in the top of the six. Angelina Perry now, 0 for 2. In there for strike one. Wind really picking up here at Acumen Stadium on the college the campus of St. Clair College. Ball down low, one and one. Throw from the catcher, scoots past the pitcher. No advancement there for Fujiwara. Gigi still lead at 4-2 to two here in the top of the six. Rachel Matheson-Green rocks and fires past the catcher. Wild pitch gets Fujiwara over the third. Two and one now, Angelina Perry, the right-hander in the box. That's Matheson Green on the hill. Rocks and fires. Hard grounder, foul ball past third base coach. And that's Johnny Gebeau recovering it. Maddie Halstead helping her out. Evens the count up at two. Little fly ball left field. Fair ball. Signaled by the umpire. Throw to the second base. She is out at second base. So she gets the RBI single, but caught down trying to advance to second. But U of T has cut the lead to four to three. So Perry tries to stretch it into a double. A bear smartly gets the ball back in. And they relay it over to LaFontaine for the second out. Julie Green now. The GGs have some action in their bullpen. Jody, Jordy Hartley, their ace pitcher, getting warm in case she's needed for the seventh. Matheson Green now. No base runners here. High pop-up, right side. Addy Kane gives it some chase, but runs out of room. One and one. Top of the sixth inning. GG's leading 4-3 over the University of Toronto. Change up there. Down low, two and one. The Varsity Blues lead trailing four to three. They try to get something restarted here in the top of the six. They've scored a couple. Cut the lead to one. Two one pitch. High fly ball. Shortstop Halstead's back. She makes the play. Top of the six is done. But UAT scores two runs to make it four to three. We'll be back here on We Digital. Where are you headed? Uh, just gonna hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov.
And we're back here at Acumen Stadium. Scoring update over on St. Clair Sports Park. Durham leads 1-0, top of the second inning in quarterfinal action against the Calgary Dinos. The winner of that game will go on to face the St. Clair Saints at 8 o'clock tonight in the semis. Aaron Sullivan back on the mound. Trails only by one now. Matheson Green now the hitter. Swings through it for strike number one. One one pitch here. Nobody on, nobody out. Bottom of the six. Just misses away. Two and one. Aaron Sullivan leans back, rocks and fires, fouls it back into the grandstands, down the tunnel again. Scattering the fans on the St. Clair College campus. 2-2 pitch, foul back this way into the grandstands. Heads up. Fans keeping their heads on a swivel here. The Acumen Stadium grandstands. Two two now. Sullivan on the hill. Hit hard the second base. Fujiwara fires the first. Howarth. Receives it for out number one. Brings Amy Schmidt to the plate. Left-handers, one for two, single and a run. Lefting-handed catcher all weekend for the Ottawa GGs. Ready? Takes ball one, down and away. Sullivan throwing hard for the U of T Varsity Blues. Little roller to third base. Fires over the first. Just off the glove of the first baseman, Howarth. Kuzrak threw it up the line a little bit. Probably going to be an error on the third baseman there. Good throw would have got her. I'll bring up Allie Newland, the right fielder. She's one for two in a run scored. So one on, one out here. Gigi's trying to get some of their runs back that they lost last inning. Little grounder right side, through the hole, base hit. She rounds second, she's caught in between bag, but she scampers back. Right fielder Chislett fires in. Aaron Sullivan's able to cut it off to hold the runner to the second base. So a one-out single for Allie Newland. They have two aboard now. Newlands have been on base all three times. Two singles and reached by an error. So Cameron coming to hit now. In for LaFontaine. They have two on. One out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. They lead four to three. They're looking to tack on some insurance runs. The meeting on the mound breaks up. We're ready to go. LaFontaine still on the mound. Swing and a miss, strike one. Took a big cut at that one. Comes up, comes up empty. Oh, one now, Aaron Sullivan. Leans back, rocks and fires. In there for strike two. Blows the fastball by her.
swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down now. Kylie fourth now. Two on, two out. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Fastball in there for strike one. Right-hander takes a little practice cut. Gets ready to step back in the box. Schmidt on second. Newland on first. 4-3 lead for the GGs. Just missed away. Big secondary lead there for Schmidt on second base. Looking to score on anything hit to the outfield. Center and right playing pretty deep. Left fielder Julia Green in a little bit. The 1-1 one -1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Way late on that one. One and two. Aaron Selvin able to blow that fastball right by her. So Kylie Forth trying to cash in the run here. A little insurance run for GGs. They lead by only one. A little flare. Hits and rolls foul. A lot of spin on that. Once it hit the turf, it just kicked right. And we'll do the one-two pitch again. Kylie fourth, five foot five out of Ottawa. Schmidt gets pinch run four for the catcher. Can't tell who that was. Might have been Jesse Cameron. One and two now. Popped straight up in the air. Pitcher's underneath it. She calls for it. Sullivan records the third out. So we're through six complete. We're coming into the seventh inning. The GG still lead 4-3. We'll be back here on We Digital. For every big breath, for every little breath, and for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. What can milk do? Well, it can turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh, well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whir and creme brulee cremy. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, uh, remind me about that party again. And Alex adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, uh, remind me about that party again. And Alex adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. And we're back here, top of the seventh. U of T down to their last three out. Strike one. Rachel Matheson Green still on the hill for the GGs. Hard grounder, first baseman falls and gets it, race to the bag, in time for out number one. Nice play by Addie Kane. Records the out on Elijah. So UOT down to the last two outs. They trail by a run here in the top of the seventh. 
top of the order now for the UAT Varsity Blues. A little change up off the end of the bat. Matheson Green fires over the cane for out number two. Two quick outs here for the GGs. So the GGs look to end their tournament on a high if they can record this last out. So Aaron Sullivan, the pitcher, comes to the plate now, representing you at University of Toronto's last hope here at the tournament, the 2022 CCSA National Championships. Matheson Green trying to nail down the win. She came in relief for Sophie Daisy. Daisy in line for the win. Hard hit the shortstop off the glove in the left field for a base hit. UAT still has life. Matheson Green trying to nail down the save. She gave up a couple of runs in the sixth to make the game a little closer at four to three. So the tying run is aboard now for the three hitter. Amelia Collett now takes strike one. Another American for UAT. 5'10 lefty from Seattle, Washington. UAT players from coast to coast across North America. A little chopper foul. First base coach with a kick save and a beauty. So UAT down to their last strike. Rachel Matheson Green trying to Finish this one for the Ottawa GGs. She rocks back and fires the 0-2 pitch. Change up just high. Pulls the string on that change up. So one, two now to Colette. Fastball just missed. Callet with a 2-2 two -two pitch coming up. Two outs, one on. UAT trails by one. Rachel Matheson Green rocks and fires. Hard hit foul. That would have been trouble if it reached down the line. Kane over on that first baseline trying to keep anything from getting into the corners. Kane still playing way in on the infield. She's got to keep anything in front of her. No doubles defense here. Allie Newland out and right. Change up. Hit hard. Base hit in the right field. Newland recovers it. Runner holds at second base. The Varsity Blues now have two runners on base. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. They trail by one. The cleanup hitter, Lauren Howarth now. Tying run on second base. Hit hard into left field. That's a base hit. She's getting the wave home. There's going to be a play at the plate. She is safe at the plate. The runner scampers a third. She is out at third base. The inning is over. But the U of T Varsity Blues have tied the game. Howarth with the base hit. Ma, the base runner, Matheson Green, scores a tying run. Sullivan, sorry, scores a tying run. But Kuzrock gunned at third base. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh inning, tied at four here on We Digital. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for you. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs. And dangerous things like metals into your body. And nicotine, which can harm a person's brain development through their mid-twenties. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. 
So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping. Because when you talk, they hear you. Yeah. Email from school about the incident today. Scary. You know, teachers like me, parents, we don't always know as much as you guys do about what's going on with other kids. At the time, it's rumors. Yeah, but if you're ever concerned about a friend who's having trouble with alcohol, prescription drugs, anything, you need to tell an adult, someone you know and trust. That can be hard. No. But speaking up about a problem is what helping a friend is all about. I just gotta get in the booth. So we're back here, an exciting top of the seventh inning. U of T claws back. They were down 4-1. They scored two in the sixth, one in the seventh, and now tie it at four. The GGs will look to walk it off here in the bottom of the seventh. Addie Kane, the batter. Addie did triple back in the third inning. So see if she can duplicate that to get herself in the scoring position. Aaron Sullivan on the mound for U of T. She leans back, rocks and fires. Check swing, up the middle, second base, fires the first in time. Fujiwara with a nice play. Three hitter now, Halstead. Hit hard to short. Espinola fires to first, two down. Two quick outs for U of T. Big right-hander Hartley coming to the plate. Misses low, ball one. Oh, and one now. High fly ball, left field. That's over the left fielder's head. Hartley runs the second. Easy with a stand up double. She's running the third base now. There's going to be a play. She is out at third base. Ill advised advance to third base, making the third out at third. She gets gunned down. And we'll see what happens here if we go to extras. The whole U of T bench off celebrating that out. Hartley had an easy stand-up double, but decided to try and get an extra bag and gets gunned at third. Coaches and umpires discussing what we're going to do here for extra innings. We'll stay with the action. We won't go to commercial producer Owen. We'll stay with, see what the umpires discuss. Coaches and umpires discussing what we're gonna do here. And we're going to the eighth inning. Eighth inning action coming here. 4-4, four, four, U of T coming to bat. The first extra inning game of this tournament so far. We paid for seven innings, but we're getting bonus baseball action. So they'll start with the ghost runner on second base, it appears. It looks look like Howarth on second base when we begin this inning. And that's big right-hander Jordy Hartley. She's pitching now for the GGs. She's the one who hit that double over the left fielder's head and ill-advised tried to move to third base and got gunned.
Hartley taking her warm-up tosses. The sun drops behind a cloud. GGs have their pre-inning huddle. We're getting ready to go. Right-hander getting ready to dig in the box. That's number 27, Janelle Hodge. Five foot seven out of Vancouver, British Columbia. So runner on second, the ghost runner's on second. Hartley, there's a little discussion with the coach, what they want to do in case of a bunt. Coach out there talking to their first baseman, third baseman. In case Hodge decides to lay one down here to advance the go-ahead run to third base. So we're tied at four, top of the eighth inning. The big righty wheels and fires into the dirt. Nice stop by Amy Schmidt to keep the runner from moving the third. Beautiful play by the catcher. Fouled back. The runner retreats to second base. One and one now. Hartley rocks and fires. Fouled into the grandstands. One and two. Hartley doing her best to keep that runner from advancing. Fujiwara on deck for University of Toronto. Change up. Just gets a piece of it to stay alive. Hartley tried to pull the string. The one-two pitch from Hartley. Fastball blows it by her for strike three. Hartley records the first out of the inning. Fujiwara doubled and scored her last time. Also a fielder's choice in a walk today. Runner still on second. Howarth with one out. Fouled back this way into the grandstands. Back towards the crowd. One strike. All weekend long, Jordy Hartley just throwing gas. Fastball back into the grandstands again. Just over the fence and into the concourse at St. Clair Sports Park. Fans down there trying to get hot dogs and dodging softballs. O2 now. Wheels and fires. Change up. Curveball. Line drive. Out at and safe on the play at second. Beautiful play by Emma LaFontaine to catch the line drive. She tried to double the runner off, but she was able to scamper back in time. Nice play by LaFontaine. So the runner still remains on second base. It should be Angelina Perry now. One for three, a single and a run scored. Top of the eighth inning here at Acumen Stadium. Tied at fours. Hartley doing a good job here in relief to try and keep that ghost runner at second base behind her. Fouled back this way. Ricochets a few times into the U of T bench. Everybody's okay. Bit of an adventure up here in the foul balls with the hard throwing Hartley on the mound. 1-1 one, one now. She leans back and fires it in. Change up low. Nice block there by Amy Schmidt. The left-handed catcher keeps the ball in front of her. Hartley steps back to compose herself a little bit. The wind really picking up here now at Acumen Stadium. Fastball fouled back. Strike two. 2-2 two, two now. Big pitch coming here. 
Try and strand that ghost runner at second base. Hartley fires it in. Fastball, line shot. Nice play. Fan catches a stinger in the crowd. So 2-2 two, two now, two outs, runner on second base. Perry in the box, Hartley on the mound. She leans back, wheels and fires. In there, strike three, Hartley blows it past her. We're heading to the bottom of the eighth inning now. We'll be back here on We Digital. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm just going to hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. And we're back here. Amber Weiss about to step into the box. We have the courtesy the ghost runner on second base. My name is Dan Dominguez bringing you extra inning action. That's Janique Hebert. Little check swing. Everybody's safe. The runner doesn't advance to third base, however. So it's first and second for the GGs. Janique Hebert on second. Amy Schmidt on first. They look down for her signs. That's the pitcher, Rachel Matheson Green, former pitcher. Hartley came in for her. Let's see, the infield way in. The corners are way in expecting a bunt. Here it is. She can't get the bunt down. Strike one. Let's see if they pull the bunt off here. See if she can slap one past those charging corner infielders. One strike now. Sullivan still on the mound. Misses the bunt, strike two. Matheson Green can't get the bunt down. She trails 0-2 in the count. Bottom of the eighth inning, tied at four. Swings away, check swing, just missed. Able to hold her swing up, one and two. Aaron Sullivan gets her sign, rocks and fires. Catcher just grabs it. Nice play by Katie Mona. That ball gets to the screen. The runners advance easy. 2-2 Two -two now. Nobody out. Bottom of the eighth inning. Winning run on second base. Fouled back into the grandstands. Count stays at 2-2. Two -two. Two and two now. Aaron Sullivan still on the mound. Just missed outside. Runs the count to full. Wind blowing hard here at the stadium. Full count pitch from Sullivan. Fouled back into the grandstands again. Ball. 
Mathis and Green battling in this full count at bat. Hit to left field. It's caught. Julia Green records the first out. That'll bring the catcher, Amy Schmidt, now. Two on and only one out. Gigi's looking to bring home that winning run from second base. Ball down low. Runner goes to third. The throw. She slides underneath and is safe at third. Beautiful base running by Janik Hebert. So now the infield's going to, they're going to call time. The coach comes in to discuss what they're going to do. The count's 1-0. and The winning runs on third base. There's another runner at second. They're going to have to bring the infield and the outfield in. There's also a chance they could walk this batter to set up a force out at the plate. We'll see what coach Craig Sarson wants to do here. His 10th year, U of T. They're bringing in the right fielder now. That's Janelle Hodge. They want her in on the action. They might bring a fifth infielder in. They're going to bring five infielders, I'm guessing, in on this play. So it's going to be a two outfield setup. They're going to play left and right center field. So it's going to be tough to make a play out there. Five infielders now. Amy Schmidt looking to blast one past to end this ball game. Aaron Sullivan still on the mound. The winning run on third. Janique Hebert. Fly ball left field. Down the left field line. Curving. Just foul. No call from the home plate ump, but it was foul. It would help us up here if he made the call. One and one now to Amy Schmidt. <laughs> Aaron Sullivan now. Rocks back and fires. Ground ball to the pitcher. Can't score. He's booted. She's safe. Coming home to play. She's safe at the plate. The ball game is over. The Ottawa GGs have walked this game off. Five to four at Acumen Stadium. Getting their first win of the tournament. Exciting play. Trickles away from Howarth. Jeanique Hebert scampers home for the win, and the GGs walk it off 5-4. to four. So we're going to sign off here. Reminder, we have semifinal action at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock over at St. Clair Sports Park behind us. And then the bronze medal tomorrow morning and the gold medal. My name is Dan Dominguez. I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Be sure to catch all the action on WeDigital.ca or the WeDigital YouTube page or Facebook. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here on We Digital.